Hi everyone, welcome to StockCG tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to open up a project for the first time in StockCG. How to allocate scenes paths, scanning directories for thumbnails, expanding paths, setting projects, etc. So let's start. The first thing you do when you open up StockCG for the first time is setting up your scene files directory. We'll be using the Maya default scenes directory. So we'll just hit OK for that. The second thing is, um, first time you open up a project in StockCG, you'll need to create new thumbnails for the files in established versions. So we'll just hit OK for that. And as we can see, Maya is going through each and every file, creating thumbnails for us to view in StockCG. Um, if we can take a look at the back end for a second, go into File, Explore File Directory, you can see that we have a, a new .ico folder which holds the icons for these files as well as an incremental folder which holds each and every file in a directory and its data. So that's that. Um, by the way, if we want to change color or anything else for that matter, um, we can go inside preferences and just hit the auto thumbnail generator again. So this will regenerate all our thumbnails with our new background. Um, okay, that's great. So now we have we have our project open. And we can actually go through our various projects, just scroll through our various other projects as well. And as you can see, uh, once I've scrolled out of my um, my project, my set project button became red, indicating that I'm no longer on this on my set project and I'm on a different project. In order to set that project to, to be my current project I'll just hit that button again making it white and that will do the trick. Uh, the other cool thing uh, the other cool features are automatically expanding paths. So as you can see while I'm going through my various um, projects uh, it reveals uh, the full length of the path so this will actually makes it, make it easier to establish your current project's directory structure. Uh, this can be easily turned off by just enabling, disabling the expand paths automatically option in under preferences. So let's just hit set project for that. Uh, the other cool feature is um, it remembers the menu remembers where your current selection was. So if I'm under animation discipline, under scenes rig, and I will go to simulations, um, my subdirectories will remain the same as my selected ones. So I can basically I can go through various disciplines and remain with the same directory. This is very easy to work with uh, big bigger pipelines. Uh, it makes it easier to go between your asset files. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, let's just create a new project for instance. Creating a new project is very easy. Uh, you just have to press the new project button under file and just create new project. project. So now that we have our new project, we can set new directories like rigging, um, go back into root, creating modeling, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, if we want a subdirectory under modeling, we just go inside new directory, say shot one. So now we have a new project with some new folders. Uh, creating a new file is easy. I've already shown that in the past. You just have to click the save file to project library, name this, uh, perhaps make a note, so say plain sphere, and there you go, you'll have that. So that's pretty much it for the first time you go inside uh, StockCG. Uh -huh.